everyone I have just received um, my new um, Colouring Heaven magazine through the post I haven't looked at it yet I thought I would uh, do a little sort of unboxing type video to show you now Colouring Heaven are sponsoring me so they're sending me um, their magazines for free um, oh that's the back cover and uh, they don't reveal what the um, magazine is. This is, the, as I say, this is the back um, until it arrives, which is rather fun. So here it is. Um, their monthly fashionable fairies special. Now, they tend to pick a specific artist. Um, it's just, I can't zoom out anymore bit close they tend to pick a specific artist i'm trying to look who this is it says 40 fashion forward modern fairy designs that's quite fun um and only human art now they have got if you look on the back actually you can see this is called cottage core this is actually um, morgan o'brien's annie day book um there um it doesn't come as part of the subscription if you subscribe to the magazine you get a magazine each month i'm going to be sent six months worth which is quite fun the summer special again i don't get as part of my um subscription there's some agatha pop pictures in there um as well um i looked at these actually they sell them in wh smiths in the uk um but you can subscribe they've got a deal on which i need to tell you about so if you um use the link in the description you can get three months for three pounds i don't know whether they're doing similar deals in other countries as well which is really good because this one is priced at 5.99 you can buy this in the shops i can probably find you a link to it if you just want to buy the one um yeah some people like having some a little surprise each month with a different magazine and some people prefer to just um buy the ones they like i would prefer the second one to be honest but one each month is cheaper and also um, with three pounds for three months deal it does seem like a very good deal so let's have a look at this particular magazine so this is issue 117 um, I think this is their July issue um, so how they do it let's have a look so here yes here's the subscribe three months for three pounds it tells you just inside it's just a pound per magazine um, I think this the, the deal is going on until the end of August, as far as I know. A little bit um, from their, um, uh, the editor or something, I think, creative director, Jenny. And she says they've got um, some YouTube tutorials on their own channel, how to colour translucent fairy wings, that'd be useful, wouldn't it? And how to colour a colourful fairy face. And there's a, a wide-eyed comic design tutorial as well so let's get on and have a look at the actual pictures it also has all their um coloring community things so let's have a look at the pictures so this is number one um i'm still trying to see who who drew these but it uh oh ava brown a v a b r o w n e they tend to take them out of books now the paper I'll tell you as we go through you can see it's the pictures are single sided it feels to me um, I'm just feeling it is about the same thickness as copy paper I think it's very white and uh, it's got a little bit of tooth okay so I think it's quite good for markers these designs look quite good for pens to be honest but I'm sure there's a lot of space in them um, so that's interesting there's our first one and it tells us they're all numbered so off sometimes they have a name for each um, picture these don't I'm trying to open it neatly so it just says one previous page two opposite so sometimes they have numbers but um names so let's just have a little look through so it's interesting they're wearing um you know we've got our fairy face with the ear, pixie type ears and wings but she's wearing like jeans type and a, a shoulderless top so we've got nice floral design i quite like the simplicity of these actually because look we've got this pleated skirt now that's going to be quite tricky to do with all the shading and shadows or you could just do it really plain and we've just got this simple design around the outside i think that's rather good and they have got quite big manga like eyes haven't they Yeah, and they're just numbered for, you know, we don't have a name. Um, I think I've got two of their books. One of them has got names 
of the characters and the other one doesn't have names in it so and then the summer special tells you who drew the picture because they've got about four or five different um people that one. Can go a little bit faster i think see this looks a little bit more intricate here um if you want something a little bit trickier and the flowers here look these starting to get a little more but the girls are still nice and simple so you could just do a plain face or you could add in a little bit of um, darker colour by the edges of the nose to sort of make the face look a little bit more um, shaped you know I like their little ears as well really cute now this one hasn't got the same sort of frame around and we've got sort of two sets of wings I guess you'd need a lot and some pretty flowers and she's like um sailor moon I would say maybe I don't know it's definitely a little sailor outfit see princess charlotte wearing that sort of collar set trooping colour she's got little hair slides in and a hat that's very cute She's got a whole flower, I'm thinking flower fairies, but a very different style to um, Cecily Barker. I don't know, that's what my brain tells me. I'm not sure, I like, she's got little specks on, it's cute. Oh, I like this one. She's got a little hat with a bow, it's very sweet. Oh, she's doing a little heart shape bit. We've got some hearts down here. Maybe a Valentine's -y type design. Okay. They all are quite different though. Different expressions, different outfits, um, different themes. So they're similar in some ways but different in others. You know what I mean? We've got nice um, looking like lilies in this one. She looks a little bit concerned, but I guess it's quite interesting. When you colour a face, you can really make it change expression-wise and things like that just by the different colours that you're using. So as you could do these as glasses or sunglasses. Got some florals. A lot of dresses now. I quite like the ones with the jeans on. They look much more modern. Oh, here we have another one with jeans. Oh, she looks very cool. She's got a little teddy. She's got. Look, she's got something around her neck. A little rainbow or something. Interesting. Got bare feet to colour. It's interesting. Very well drawn. Very hard to draw toes. I think. Can't draw anything. Got what like, these look like daffodils, and then she is sitting among a bunch of flowers. Oh, look, nice toadstool. Oh, we've got a sort of vampire look. I was thinking that's old, but it's her um, fangs. And we've got bats and sort of crystal ball, quite a fun atmospheric one for Halloween. She's just sitting in flower. Oh, and we've got another one with the crystal ball. She's got these very different looking wings and she looks really mangary. This one does too. I think it's the pointy hair. No, I haven't really coloured any manga books, but I just think I feel like it is a little bit. We have another ghosty one. Quite cool. Her ears are much more pointy. Oh, another sort of scary one. There's one in a garden. And I think this might be the last one, number 40. So at the back, they have a little place to test your pencils because this cover, both inside and outside, is matte. So it feels like the same texture. That's a bit more toothy than the paper. But you can play around. It gives you some ideas. These are Prismacolors. Look, violet blue imperial, violet blue, violet lake. It just gives you some ideas. Now there's Holly, who's my contact. So we're going to do a little bit of something. Which one should we do? Oh, I like this skirt on this girl. 
we have a go at the skirt? Let's have a go. Um, I'm, I've got my Prisma colours next to me. Whoops. Because um, I'm in the middle of a different video series. But I just wanted to get this one done to get it out quickly. So I used my Prismas, um, I think, for her skirt. And show you what I meant by the pleats. So what I would do is take a sort of mid palish blue and just open out my swatch chart so I can, um, where should we start? We'll start with the light cerulean blue, I think. I've got to find it now. What I would do I've got to find it. Where is it? <laughs> Sorry. That's Mediterranean Lake. Right. There it is. Right, light cerulean blue. So what we'll do is do the whole skirt in the light cerulean blue. I'm not going to do the whole thing now. I'm just going to do one pleat. So fill it all in to start with. Like that. I've gone over the lines. It doesn't matter if we over here because this is going to be this colour too. So I've got a sort of light layer. Okay, let's come in a bit. I don't know why I chose blue. I think it's quite cool. So then we're going to go for the cerulean blue, which is a slightly darker version of the same um, colour, which I've got to find. It's electric. I think that's a the light is shining off my pencil names. There we go. So here's the cerulean blue. And we're going to use it just on this edge where the pleats overlap. It's going to be a bit more shadow. So we can put some darker blue along here and then gently fade it out. Like that. I think it might be slightly darker along the other edge as well, where that sort of tucks round a little bit. Now you can see that the lines in this book are quite thick. I found that in most of in their other books too that I've got. They're quite dark black. If you wanted to white out the lines, it would be hard work. I don't, luckily, I don't want to do that. I'm backed with my light cerulean blue to just burnish this a little bit. So I'm just going over the top of that and then this and I just want to go over this central part a bit like that. That very centre bit I'm going to do in white. I've got white, it happens to be hanging around on my desk as you do. So I'm sort of burnishing it with white so that it doesn't get I don't want it any darker than it was. There's our first sort of pleat. I'll do the next one for you as well. So normally I would do the whole skirt in this light blue first, but we're just going to do one more pleat. Now on this one, this side that I'm doing now um, is not going to need a darker bit because um, it's not curled round. Like this side could be curled round a little bit because it's the edge of her skirt. You know, her skirt isn't just at the front, it sort of goes all round her, so we have to try to do that. So we do that first, then we'll put in our shadow with the um, cerulean blue, but we'll only do it on this side. Like that, but also think under the belt there's going to be a little bit of a shadow where it's just putting it in. So I'm just going to do that like that with a line. Now I'm going to go back to my light cerulean blue. We're sort of back and forth a bit. What I would do is I would have coloured all the panels then done done the darker bit. Speed me up a little bit. And I'm going to fade it. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because we're going to bring our white in as well. But I want to make sure I burnish it to about halfway across. Now by burnishing, I mean I'm trying to get rid of the white paper that's showing through. There is a bit of tooth on this, but not too much. You can see it's going down quite well. And then grab my white to finish it off. I want my most white on this edge. Like 
like that and then bring it in a bit less along here and then you can see that now if we look along the skirt we have to think about where the pleats change here I would say the shadow would be on this side this pleat I think is our front panel so there'd be then a shadow this side you can see that by the way it's drawn there on this side and this side I would do this one on both sides like I did on that little end one I might just feel like I could darken this edge just a tad more I can just layer it on a bit more and fade it out a bit there we go a little bit more I'm just being fussy now of our lights where you can see how nicely the uh, the prismas lay down on the page I've also used their paper with polychromos it went down very well um, they work well with pen I did mention pen earlier um, they work very well with pen um, I would always put something behind the page I haven't today with this one because of it being single sided but if you're using pen always put something behind um, just in case I've even used watercolour pencil I think and it was okay I mean it's not thick paper it will crinkle but uh, that's uh, it's okay so that sort of works um, now what we also have to notice with the skirt is a bit of it is above the belt can you see the belt the skirt ends here I think and so the belt sort of loops down so we have to remember to do that bit too but I will when I finish it off. Um, I will um, finish this page and share you a completed page at some point, but it's not going to be, I've got a few other things planned. So uh, I'm not sure when it will be. It won't be at the end of this video. You know, sometimes I'll show my finished page. Um, it won't be. Um, and I haven't decided how to colour the fairy wings because they've got this sort of pattern in them. Yeah, I'm not sure about them. But something that's really good for fairy wings is uh, this. This is stickles, um, diamond stickles. Look at the, I don't know how well it's picking up the light, but they've got a sort of pearlescent sparkle in them, which is great. The only thing is if you try and colour on the back of it, it is quite thick. But in a single sided book like this, you've got a little bit more leeway, especially if you start at the beginning and work through. Because if you start on page one, you're never going to lean on that page again because it's on the left. Do you see what I mean? So I wouldn't want to do that on this page now because when I do the page before, or the, a couple of pages before, I'll have this rough surface to lean on. But you could always shove something thick on top, but that's not always, doesn't always work. But there we go. I think I will stop waffling now and uh, just remind you, let's come back out, remind you that it is £3 for three until the end of August. Code's in the... Um, description as I say I am being sponsored by them for this video so I have to declare that so it's an advert but um, you know it does I mean personally no bias it sounds a very good deal a pound each you won't get this one because this has come out now so uh, you'll get or I guess if you sign up now you'll probably get August September October's whatever they might be I think October I'm sure she said Halloween themed I'm sure but I can't promise but um, we'll see. I'm sure she said there's a bumper Halloween, bumper Christmas one. But you won't get the Christmas one for three months. Now, I don't know how subscriptions work, whether they automatically cancel or whether you have to cancel them. So do check the terms and conditions because I know there's nothing more annoying when you sign up for something and then you forget to cancel it. Um, so do check that. And if you only want the three months, remember to set a little reminder in your diary to uh, go and check and cancel if you don't want to, uh, you know... Um, I assume you have to sort of sign up for a subscription because I have been lucky enough not to have had to do that and I'm not entirely sure but just look at the terms and check but uh, hopefully um, if you if you like this sort of idea so it seems you know you're going to get you're going to pay three pounds you're going to get um, 40 um, pictures and hopefully things you like as I say we don't know what they're going to be they give us a little bit of a clue um, they gave us a clue as a subscriber um, about a week ago as to what this was and uh, I completely guessed it incorrectly they covered up blurred the title and put a little magnifying glass over a little bit of it and I thought it said elements and I don't know where I got that 
from considering what that says unless they change their mind or something and I didn't know what to expect but uh, anyway <laughs> this is quite fun I'm now more confident with colouring people I think I will have fun with this one and uh, as I say I will do this one at some point and share it but that is me so thank you for watching um, as I say do look in the description find the info you need go to their website look at the T's and C's and they do post all over the world I can't promise everywhere I know they post to the US and Europe and places like that and you can also find their magazines in shops um, as I say in the UK WH Smith has them but um, so if you want this specific one and you don't want to buy it online off their website go into WH Smith's I found um, I went into my larger WH Smiths and I found that one and that one in there. Um, um, yeah, it was um, in my next town because my town's quite small. I've never looked in mine actually to see if they do them, but um, I found them in a different one. So they are in Smiths. Um, you can buy them. You can't buy them online through Smiths, but you can buy them online straight from the Colouring Heaven website. So that's another option. But I. I don't know how, I don't think they charge postage, but I'm not entirely sure how it works. It's worth checking it out. I really should know. I should have done some research. <laughs> but anyway, i just show you the leaflet which comes in. tells you about the member benefits, which I'll just share with you very quickly. So you can buy any back issue at 10% off. You have free access to their Colouring Heaven Discovery Club. I sent your inbox. I don't know what that is. You get a sneak peek, as I say, I got a little sneak peek um, of the magazine and you can access, um, so it tells you to log in, put your email address and do a part, make up a password and there you go. Um, so uh, you can do that, but um, as I say, there's a link in my description, it's my affiliate link, so I get a little bit of commission, so if you are going to have a look, I would appreciate if you use that. But thank you so much for watching. Um, hope that was fun. Hope you learned something with the uh, old little bit of the uh, demo as well um, for you. Um, I know I didn't do much, but it was a little bit of something. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Have a super day and happy colouring.